everybody, it's me, Michelle, with OM System Events, and I'm here tonight with my friend and OM System Ambassador, Matt Seuss. Hey, how are you doing, everyone? We're here tonight introducing our brand new OM5. We are going to be going all around the world, the afternoon, the morning, the evening, wherever you are, showcasing different environments and experiences with our team and our ambassadors around the globe today. So thank you for joining us, Matt Seuss. Tell our friends a little about what you do. What kind of photographer are you? Yeah, I am a uh, professional landscape and wildlife and nature photographer. And we are kind of in my backyard here in the Grand Teton National Park in Grizzly Country, just a few hours away from where I live. And we are out here to photograph the night sky and get some great shots with the Milky Way with the OM5. So the OM5 has introduced Starry Sky AF, and I think Starry Sky AF is really going to help us to get those nice tack sharp stars tonight when we try our live composites. It is, and you know, if you have blurry stars, you know, you don't got a photo. So we got a busy night ahead of ourselves. It's probably going to be really cold. We should probably uh, be prepared with some stuff. What did you bring tonight to be prepared for our shoot? Well, I have a uh, electric heated vest. I got electric heated gloves. I got electric heated uh, soles for my boots. Uh, how about you? I have none of those things. I'm going to freeze to death. <laughs> You'll be as rugged as the camera. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite computational feature? Mine, I think, was last night doing live ND yeah. on the water. That was awesome. With the OM5 being able to just sit out there and get that glassy water was very awesome. But what's, what's your go-to? The, uh, the high res modes, you know, 20 megapixels is perfectly fine for a lot of situations. But then when you're in that magical light, sunrise, sunset, and you just want to get a lot more megapixels, getting it in handheld 50 megapixel high res mode or tripod high res mode at 80 megapixels uh, gives me that extra resolution when I need it. And then how does the OM5 help you tell your story? Well, the size of it for one but it also has so many of the cool features that the EM1 Mark III had, for example, with Star EAF and, you know, live comp and the high res modes and all that, but in a smaller, more compact camera that you can be a lot more mobile in. I can set this up on the Star Tracker really nice and easily because it's so small. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's not that big and assuming, but what it has inside of it packs a whole lot. And uh, I've just been amazed at the photos we've been getting so far with it. Yeah, this has been a very exciting weekend. And we've been able to just really experience the time together and be really present in the moment and walk away with some really awesome photos. Yeah. I don't have to give this back, do I? Keeping I mean, it. it's probably got to come back. <laughs> All right, guys, it is the middle of the night. I am cold, I'm tired, I'm ready to go to bed. How about you, Matt? Are you ready to go to bed? I'm ready to stay out here for some more photos. Anyone else want to stay out here with me? Not me, I'm going to bed. Uh, it's been a pleasure spending several hours with you tonight and this whole weekend. You have taken us on such a cool adventure and allowed us to see so many awesome things and landscapes I didn't even know existed. They're beautiful, I love this park. Hey, thank you so much for inviting me. And thank all of you guys for hanging out with us and uh, learning about the OM5. Have a great rest of your night. See you later. Bye. the Claire's and you may notice today that we are not sat on our usual comfy studio no. couch <laughs> but instead we've got this lovely comfy rock in beautiful Switzerland and not only that we brought our wonderful own system ambassador with us Julia hi guys hey Julia hello how are you thank you for joining us Thank you for inviting and me. It's been amazing. Uh, Julia is an adventurer first and foremost, and she's also an incredible photographer. Um, but Julia, tell us 
about your adventures and your photography together. Yeah, we just love being outdoors, sleeping outdoors and wow. exploring like all these beautiful mountains around. I mean, like, how can you not living in such a country, right? I know, it's incredible. <laughs> it's Absolutely incredible. Totally incredible. And of course, I love capturing like all these moments, like blue hours, sunrise, sunset, Milky Way. Yeah. <laughs> and how are you finding the OM5 uh, to take along as a partner on your travels? It's super awesome. It's lightweight. And for me, the most important thing is the weather sealing. So yeah. um, because I don't have to worry about anything. So if it rains, if it snows, doesn't matter. You know, I'm usually the only one who's outside with a can <laughs> and the others like pack their cans away. And I'm like, yeah, no problem. I can yeah. carry on. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I just love it. We're in a landscape type environment. Yeah. High image quality is very important. Tell us how you get that with the OM5. Yeah, of course, with the high res mode. I mean, like 50 megapixel, that's awesome. And I can get all the details, all the colors. I never have to worry about it, right? So And no tripod. That's yeah. so cool. No Hand tripod, held. yeah. And it's only a small part of the stuff you pack, right? Tell us about what exactly. you have to take when you're on a hike. Yeah, usually I bring, of course, like my rain jacket. That's super important. Yeah. Uh, head torch, like in case you like your hike, hike takes longer. Um, then like extra clothes because it always can get pretty chilled up in the mountains. Yep. That's the whole point, isn't it? Absolutely. It's, the adventure should be with the camera, um, you know, not yeah. the whole thing, you know, because you've got so much other stuff to carry. So obviously having something small and light is really important to you. Totally, especially if I'm like venturing on high mountains and I have to pack yeah. crampons and or like my tent, you know, which is also heavy and cooking gear and everything. It's like super heavy, sleeping bag, sleeping pad. And then it's awesome that the camera is like lightweight. Yeah. So the camera weighs, you know, 400 uh, grams just in, with including the battery. So you can imagine that, you know, with a small lens, putting that in a backpack, it's a tiny, tiny proportion of the weight that you have to carry. Yeah, exactly. And Julia, you're a content creator, right? Yeah. So you're an adventurer first, content creator second. Um, so vertical video is going to be really important for you. Super important. I do like all like a lot of reels. Yeah. And now I can shoot it all like with a camera and I even can use my lenses, which is super awesome. Yeah, that's the one thing you can't do with the phone. And of exactly. course, Absolutely. with vertical video, you don't need to edit either. You can capture your story, you know, when you're doing it and share your story at the same time. And how cool is that? Yeah. And also okay. night sky because it's got starry sky AF. Well, we just saw what Michelle shot and that was incredible. Exactly what better place to bring it today. You know, it's the first camera with the OM system logo and we couldn't imagine better locations around the world for this camera to be showcased. And the perfect camera to take on your adventure, just like your favorite pair of boots. I love that. So we had an absolutely incredible time this morning. Julia, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for uh, taking us up the mountain and showing us these incredible views yeah. with an incredible camera. Thanks for having me. And now we're going to head over to Panilla in Sweden in a forest and she's with Rania Rontoft. And guess what they're talking about? We'll let them tell you. Hi, I'm Panilla, and I was invited uh, by our OM system ambassador Rania to this beautiful forest in the north of Sweden. And today we will talk about the new OM5 camera on this mini adventure we will have. Hi Rania. Oh, thank you so much for inviting me to your forest. Oh, welcome. It's lovely to have you in my back garden. Yeah, Which, it's really local here. Yeah, like I have this just behind my house and it's wonderful. So tell me a little bit about your photography. Um, I work as an outdoor and lifestyle photographer. So normally I'm capturing people experiencing and enjoying nature through hiking or foraging. My photography is used to promote outdoor brands or tourist destinations. This is where I come to 
recharge my batteries and get inspiration after working in front of a screen all day. So you had the opportunity to test out the new OM5, so what do you think about it? Yeah, exactly. I've been using it here in the forest now and I absolutely love it. And Rania, your backpack is really small. Yes, yeah, so when I go out on these things, when it's just for me, I like to carry very little and go minimal. It's easier for me to move around in the forest. Uh, so I only bring what I absolutely need. Um, some snacks, coffee, an extra layer if it gets cold, first aid kit, and then just my camera and maybe one extra lens. So I love that the camera is so small, the gear is very compact, it doesn't weigh you down much. It's very helpful when you're moving about in the forest for a few hours. Yeah, I saw that you put your macro lens in your pocket. Yeah, it's important <laughs> to have a jacket where you can fit a lens or two, and a compass, a mushroom knife, even a snack. So yeah, compact gear is very important, preferably so compact that you don't even notice it. And this must be your favorite season. Absolutely. The warm colors are so inspiring. Mushrooms are so fun to take photos of. And then there's just so much food in nature as well. I love it. And maybe you can show me a focus stacking. So yeah, I've just been using the macro lens. And since the mushrooms are so small, it's really nice to get them all in focus and still have a blurry background. And with the built-in stacking, I don't have to stitch it when I'm home in front of the screen. So then I have more time in the forest instead. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah I really perfect. appreciate that. And at this season, it's really good that it's weather sealed also, right? Yes, fall is often rainy or quite damp. Sometimes it's foggy and so everything gets a bit wet, but it's really lovely that the camera can handle that. It's beautiful to take photos in the rain. So thank you so much, Rania, for inviting me. Thanks for coming. It was lovely to have you in my forest. Mm -hmm. And uh, from Sweden, over to you, Ante, in Australia. Thanks, Panilla and Rania. What a great mini adventure. Hi, I'm Ante from OM System Australia, and I'm here at Summersby Falls, which is one hour from Sydney CBD. And I've been lucky enough to be invited by OM System Ambassador Matt Horspool to this beautiful location surrounded by lush rainforests and waterfalls. And we're here to celebrate the launch of the OM5 and also to have a chat with Matt about his experience with our new adventure camera. Hey Matt, good to see you. Good to see you. What a beautiful spot, thank you for inviting me. No worries, it is actually a pretty uh, cool thing that this is only 40 minutes from my home in Sydney. Like you would not believe that beautiful places like this are so close to like the biggest city in Australia. So you've had a chance to spend some quality time with the OM5. Do you have a, a favorite feature or standout? Well, I might have seen that I brought you to uh, beautiful flowing yeah. water areas for a reason because I've actually been using the Live ND which I've used in some of the other models as well and it works just as brilliantly in this but in such a, a small form factor that I can just throw it in my bag much easier and still get those amazing flow shots. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. And so, and also with no filters, no tripod, gives you that flexibility. Ultimate freedom, mate. Yeah, no tripod, it. no filters. You, I can literally use any lens. I can use my wide angle lenses that maybe you can't even put a filter on the front. I can use telephotos. All works because it's all done in inside camera, computational. Excellent. Actually, sometimes when I shoot, I actually just take a bum bag and put a couple of lenses in there and just go and shoot. A couple yep. of batteries, and there's my kit for the day to go and shoot. I could 
Well, you have, yeah, I can yeah. get anywhere. I can scramble up boulders. I can yep. duck behind waterfalls. It, it doesn't really matter because it can move so light. And you're not, you're not weighed down. And talking about going through waterfalls or ducking through waterfalls, yeah. I imagine that you would experience that today. Yeah, well, we'll be showing you some of the waterfalls that we can hop behind today and uh, get in close and use some of that live ND, like super close and wide into the into where the water's flowing and, and you'll see the camera will get quite wet, <laughs> which you, most people might freak out by, but actually excites me. <laughs> Perfect, that's good. Video is obviously a big part of your workflow and your professional work. Is it the system has it enabled you, this particular camera, will it be, play a role in what you do? Yeah, video? yeah, I think so, because video is what everyone's consuming these days. Yeah. and clients are demanding video as well and and this camera the om5 has got some pretty solid video specs actually as you notice everyone is consuming media on their phone and and posting instagram stories that are all vertical well you can actually now shoot that within this camera uh, vertically and the camera will actually recognize that it was shot vertically and then when you use it post direct to their instagram accounts with ease exactly Thank you, Matt, for bringing me here today and inviting me. You had an amazing time. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for coming. It was uh, awesome having you here. I'd love showing you around all of the beautiful spots. I'd love to go and shoot that. So. No, definitely beautiful, yeah. Yeah. That's it from all of us. Now it's your turn to take the challenge and tell your story. that could keep you close then it went wrong now you're alone stories without a few letdowns are boring when told perfection and poems are alive when it all unfolds cause when it goes wrong When the feeling was strong 